Okay, now I'm going to answer the question, what is the domain of f of x? So remember that normally your domain is going to be all real numbers, okay, everything from negative infinity to positive infinity, unless you have a restriction. Okay, so your restrictions, what are you going to exclude? Well, we have to exclude these two things. We have to exclude restrictions that we find in the composite f of g of x, and we also have to exclude any restriction we see in just the g of x. Okay, so first let's look at just the g of x. Okay, and let's look for any restrictions. Here is the g of x. I'm putting in green. And you see it's 5 minus 3x. There are no exclusions there. There's no x's in the denominator. There's no x's under a radical. So I can plug in any number I want right here for x. There's no exclusions in this case for g of x. Okay, now we need to look at our composite function right here the f of g of x. Well, I do have a radical, the square root of negative 3x minus 1, and there's a restriction that comes with that. Remember that I cannot have a negative under a radical. So whatever is inside that radical, whatever is the radicand, it has to be greater than or equal to 0. So in this case, I need to take negative 3x minus 1, and I need to set it greater than or equal to 0. Okay, that is going to be my domain restriction for the f of g. So let's go ahead and solve. Let's get our x by itself. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is add 1 to both sides. So negative 3x is greater than or equal to 0 plus 1 is 1. And one more step to get my x by itself. I am going to divide by a negative. <laughs> okay, so anyone uh, who's seen me do this um, when you divide by a negative, when you divide an inequality by a negative, you have to flip over the inequality. Okay, so here is going to be my answer. Negative 3 over negative 3 reduces down to 1, 1x. One and then my inequality is going to go from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. And then over here I have 1 over negative 3, which is negative 1 third. Okay, so here is my domain restriction. x is going to be less than or equal to negative 1 third. If I put that on a number line, it's going to look like this. Here's 1 third. Sorry, here's negative 1 third. Less than or equal to is everything this way. Shade in the arrow because it goes all the way forever and ever to negative infinity. And then at negative one third, what am I going to put right here? Well, this has a line, so I put a bracket that is made of lines. Okay, bracket. So this is my domain in the graphic version. They're going to ask me for interval notation. So I have one interval here, and it's everything from negative infinity to negative one third, parenthesis on the infinity, bracket on the negative one third. Okay, so this is the domain of the f of g. Okay, I had to do all of that, but my answer is going to be right here, what I'm boxing in the purple negative infinity to negative one-third. If I try to plug anything else in for the value of x, 
it's going to give me a negative under a radical, and it's not going to exist in the real world.